Today there is no doubt that Node.js and Django are both awesome backend technologies for working with web applications. They both have powerful benefits and offer great features. But if you want to choose to learn just one, it's always a question which should it be. My name is Daniel and today we will compare Node.js versus Django. We will explore their features, their advantages, limitations and their similarities with differences. Otherwise, I will do everything to help you decide which one of these two technologies is best for your project. And if you want to learn them from scratch or boost your existing skills, I will leave some useful links in the description to help you with that. Alright guys, let's get into it. Node.js vs Django – what are they for? Before we take a deeper dive into this comparison, let me do a brief overview of these two technologies. First of all, guys, I would like to say that we are not here to point out a loser. It's important to understand that Django and Node.js are both great when it comes to coding complex web applications. Django is your go-to if you are into Python. It's a web app development framework loaded with effective tools for developing the backend of your project. Now, Node.js is a bit of a different animal. It's not a framework. It's a tool for running JavaScript on the server side away from the web browser. With Node.js you can write a code for both backend and frontend part using just one programming language – JavaScript. And a lot of developers find that very convenient and efficient at the same time. Alright, after this brief introduction, let's take a closer look at what these two tools bring to the table. Node.js vs Django – Key Features Node.js Alright guys, here are the main Node.js features. First of all, it's built on the V8 JavaScript engine. And for us developers that means speedy page loading. Second, with its event-driven architecture, Node.js can handle multiple things happening at once. These make it perfect for stuff that needs real-time action. Like live chats, online games or streaming. Whether your app is a simple vlog or a complex system, Node.js has your back. Node.js comes with a massive collection of free tools and libraries that get updated regularly. This means you can easily add new features. And just like Django, Node.js is a cross-platform. It plays nice with Linux, Windows or Mac OS. Django While Node.js is JavaScript-based, Django is all about Python. The minds behind this framework have said the don't repeat yourself rule. And this means that basically there is no repetitive code. No need to write the same thing over and over again. Django lets you reuse saving your time in building your project. Moreover, Django is also based on the batteries included principle. Just picture this, guys. You open the Django toolbox and you have got everything you need. This gives you the freedom to focus on what's really important. This means that you don't have to spend as much time and effort setting up your development environment or installing additional libraries and dependencies. Instead, you can focus on building your application and take advantage of many built-in features that Django provides. And here are some other important features Django offers. Django uses a model view template setup. Try to think of it as a splitting your app into three parts business logic, user interface and layout. This helps keep your code tidy, easy to manage and scalable. Django uses ORM – or Object Relational Mapping System. What this means is that you don't need to work with any extra SQL code for database operations. Django is perfect for apps with tons of users, whether it's a social hub, an online store or an educational platform. Whether you are using Windows, Mac or Linux, Django has got your back. It works well with any operating system. Node.js vs Django – Advantages and Limitations Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in return I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. That's all. People, like I said at the beginning of this video, Node.js and Django are both great tools to work with. They both have awesome advantages, which is why web developers all over the world love them. On the other hand, like any other technology in existence, Node.js and Django are not perfect in any way. They have their limitations and some of them might become deal breaker for certain projects. Let's see what these advantages and limitations are. And let's start with Node.js. Node.js Pros 
It's based on JavaScript, which is one of the most popular programming languages. Comparably, it's easy to learn and support. And it has big enough and helpful community of developers. It efficiently manages your apps, tools and features. It handles multiple requests at a time without any issues. It's easily scalable as your project gets busier. And it offers quick caching, which speeds up processing. Node.js cons. Sometimes dealing with asynchronous queries can be challenging. Heavy computing tasks can slow down performance. Code maintenance gets tricky with Node.js is a thin programming model. And limited library support might be also a challenge for coders. Ok, now folks, let's move on to Django and see what it has to offer. Django Pros Installing and using Django is pretty easy. Its user-friendly interface handles admin tasks smoothly. Django supports comprehensive end-to-end -end app testing. It's got your back with a variety of authentication methods in the REST framework. Multiple caching techniques are at your disposal through the cache framework. And Django offers aid for creating dynamic HTML pages. Django Cons While Django is scalable, there can be issues with small-scale applications. Django is monolithic framework, meaning it's a big, single-sizable app that can only be deployed entirely. And these guys can be a bit risky, because if not done right, the entire system could crash. And finally, Django cannot handle multiple requests at the same time. So guys, remember about it before you decide to use Node.js or Django for your projects. Django vs Node.js comparison Ok folks, and now we have finally come to the main topic of this video. Let's compare Node.js and Django head to head based on the key parameters. Performance. Django offers way better performance for large-scale web apps. It has a method for creating built-in house templates, making it easier to complete your tasks faster. Node speed is great because it gives developers freedom, however, the application's development takes a longer time. Architecture. Django grabs the template view from the MVT model. Node.js works based on an event driving system and uses an OS-powered stack of manageable requests. Development speed Django runs faster with its built-in system. But it can be time-consuming for developers unfamiliar with Python. Node.js can take more time to operate, but it is helpful for developers who are familiar with JavaScript. Security Django comes with a solid built-in security system that guards against weaknesses and offers excellent security. Node.js requires manual security fixes, as it's not as secure as Django. Ecosystem Django has a large ecosystem of modules, but it is not as extensive as Node.js. Node.js has a huge collection of ready-made modules via NPM. This means that developers can easily find pre-built functionality to add to their applications. Community both Node.js and Django has great communities. However, based on some research I did, I can say that Node.js still has a larger community. And as you know, more people, more resources. And that makes it easy to find, help or learn more about the framework. That's why, guys, there is something to think about. Which is better, Node.js or Django? So now that you know much more about these two technologies, time to answer the last question for this video. What is better to choose, Node.js or Django? Guys, my goal in this video is not looking for a loser. Because, in my opinion, there isn't one. Now that we have compared Django and Node.js, it's very clear. They are both great technologies. But here are my thoughts on when it's better to use one or another. For a speedy and scalable MVP or robust apps with pretty high security, go with Django. Especially if you are diving into fintech. And if you are working with APIs, tackling with high bandwidth services, or dealing with microservices, Node.js is your solution. In the end, guys, it's all about what suits your personal goals and your project needs. Career opportunities Ok, and now that we have compared these two tools, let's see what career opportunities they are for Node.js and Django developers. Well, my fellow developers, I am happy to say that the future for both is looking pretty good. According to the Stack Overflow Developer Survey, 
Today, Node.js is one of the most popular web technologies. At the same time, the demand for Django developers has been steadily climbing year after year. As Glassdoor reports, senior Node.js developers can earn up to 143,000 a year. At the same time, Django developers make as much as 122,000 per year. Freelance Node.js developers earn 18 to 38 dollars per hour, and Django freelancers make between 20 and 40 dollars. So, guys, as you can see, in-house jobs pay a bit more for Node.js pros than Django developers. But when it comes to freelancing, the difference is insignificant. All right, my fellow developers, that's all for my Node.js and Django comparison. I left all the useful links in the description, so you can improve your skills with Node or Django. Feel free to check them out. Also, folks, if you found this content enjoyable, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscription button. And finally, thanks for watching, until next time.